With vistas like this and a well-proportioned terrace makes this primary bedroom a knockout. But let me show you where you would recover after this fight. I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC everyone. Today we have another fabulous show filled with beautiful design and I am bringing it all to you from this spacious and sunlit apartment in Lenox Hill. This home combines downtown loft living with uptown elegance, which is appropriate because before its conversion, the building was once a warehouse for fine art. Check out this expansive great room featuring soaring barrel vaulted ceilings and plenty of room for lounging or dining. And you can extend the entertaining outdoors onto the balcony through these sliding glass doors. The ultra modern chef's kitchen integrates beautifully in the open floor plan and is sure to inspire some delicious meals. There are three bedrooms, including a serene corner primary suite with two of its very own balconies. We are getting started at this dream penthouse in Chelsea featuring an impressive scale at well over 6,000 square feet and surprising design details throughout. It's a true indoor-outdoor entertainer's paradise with a seamless flow to the wraparound terraces. The panoramic views aren't too shabby either. Take a look. Hi, I'm Frances Katzen and welcome to one of the most iconic downtown penthouses on the market today. This penthouse spans the entire floor over 6,300 square feet, 360 degree views. Let's go take a look. I don't usually start my tours outside, but standing here, I think you'll see why. In this apex, you get unfettered views of the Empire State Building all the way down to the Statue of Liberty, not to mention a complete open view of the Hudson River. Now let's go take a look at the rest of the apartment. This corner great room is really well proportioned and also takes in these really fantastic views. This great room has a fantastic entertaining area, a gaming area, beautiful herringbone flooring, and then a fireplace that operates for both sides of this room and the library. Let's go take a look. This library really gives you the best of both worlds. Although you've got floor to ceiling glass, you still have a thoughtful design allowing you to create a proper, well put together bookshelf. Grab yourself a good book, have a seat, take in the fireplace and relax. All right, come on, let's go, we've got more to see. There are kitchens and then there are kitchens and this one came to play. The center island is 15 feet long. Two refrigerators and a sculptural hood to boot. And sitting here, taking in this view, really does put a spin on your morning coffee. There are gaming rooms that up your game, and this would be one of them. Large enough to hold a pool table, and intimate enough to host a nice cozy evening, and this room also has enough wall space to showcase your art collection. This wing of the house houses three bedrooms plus a home office that is palatial. But the best thing is this primary bedroom ensuite. It is unlike anything I have ever seen. Let's take a look. Now you see what I mean. One bedroom, three exposures with unbelievable soaring views. Ceiling heights that are almost 13 feet complement this incredibly encased floor to ceiling glass and a terrace. Why don't I just show you, come on. With vistas like this and a well-proportioned terrace makes this primary bedroom a knockout. But let me show you where you would recover after this fight. This is a spa level bathroom that is what you expect in a penthouse like this. And a closet that becomes a whole nother world for the clothes horse and all of us.
Thank you so much for joining me today in the most iconic penthouse in the downtown market. See you soon. Coming up next, we are visiting this impressive mid-century architectural home in the Hollywood Hills. Welcome back everyone. Now we are in the hills of West Hollywood to visit this one-of-a-kind mid-century modern home. It features signature design flourishes of the period updated for today's living. It's also filled with natural light and cinematic views of Los Angeles. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Lovick Stefan. I'm with Sally Foster Jones Group in Beverly Hills and we're at 1443 Devlin Drive. There are a lot of natural wood beams throughout this property, incorporating with a lot of trezor flooring and lots of glass and views. It was designed by Harry Gesner back in the 60s, mid-century modern. Come on in. So this is the primary level of the property with the theater downstairs. Right here, what we have is a fish tank incorporated in the wall with this natural wrapped fiber paneling, which runs along the entire wall, wrapped around which looks beautiful. So once we leave the center of the property, it's an open bar area. This pocketed bar is perfect spot for entertaining and having a private conversation. It's at the corner of the property, plus you get a natural light coming in throughout the day. Once you're done with your drinks, we can have a nice dinner right behind us, which is a formal dining room. And to the right, what we have is a sunken living room, which you can carry a conversation right after dinner into this private space. This is my favorite spot of the house. It's a sunken living room with soft, lush cushions. It's wrapped around with trezor flooring with beautiful carpeting, and it's center of the house. Harry Gesner was known for these special architectural aspect of it, which is a sunken living room, A-frame, and also the natural light which comes through this beautiful glass and the city views that we have behind us. This fireplace is made of stainless steel sheeting, which is the same material as the open bar and also the kitchen. And not only that, has a nice ledge, which you can lounge on with your cocktail and drinks. This is awesome spot to be for yourself and your guests. Isn't this bedroom great? This bedroom gives you a sense of space, serenity, because it has high ceilings, a lot of natural light, four huge glass panels, which you look through the city and the pool in front of you. This beautiful fireplace is natural wood burning. It's approximately 10 feet high. These are natural stone, which is stacked on this fireplace. And the calming energy of the bedroom is complemented by the lovely experience in the bathroom with this freestanding tub and also the best of the best has an onyx countertop with double sink. With the flip a switch, you turn on the onyx. This pool deck is great for entertaining, especially being on a single level with the entire city views and to the ocean. Above me, these architectural beams look directly over the pool deck. To contrast the beams above, we have this dark blue mosaic pool below us. The pool is beautifully designed. It has curved shapes, beautiful sitting area for your guests to accommodate. It's amazing. Thank you for enjoying this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Coming up, we are back in New York with inventor and philanthropist Alice Chun. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in Peter Cooper Village to visit the refined home of entrepreneur and philanthropist Alice Chun, founder of So Light Design. Alice is the inventor of the Solar Puff and the Mega Puff, solar power lights designed with the principles of origami that were created to help communities in need. Take a look and be illuminated. Hi, I'm Alice Chun. I'm an inventor, social entrepreneur, professor in architecture and interior design. Welcome to my home in 2 Peter Cooper Village, Gramercy. I believe design is about making the invisible visible. And for me in my work, design provides dignity. And that's how I go about designing my environment and the products I make. 
In general, I'd say my sense of design leans towards modern simplicity and natural materials in particular. But not only is this my living room, we also have a dining area and I use this for my laboratory and workspace. This bookshelf is also a partition that divides my living space from my sleeping space. It also keeps my family keepsakes and items from my travels throughout the world. We have lighter colored woods like oak, which is a sustainably harvested wood for the coffee table and all of the accent pieces, bringing the blonde color of the wood as a unifier in the whole space. And here we have a painting, but the colors are pale and modern, so I thought it would be a great way to combine all of the colors in the room and become a centerpiece for the environment of the living room. Light is a particular fascination for me because the origins of gathering and community started with light. I discovered that people all over the world don't have access to electricity and require kerosene to light their world at night, which is a toxic, deadly fuel. Too often when products are designed for the underserved, it's all about utility, but it should be about beauty, wonder, and awe. And good design should encompass all of that. So I decided to use origami as a way to design a collapsible, foldable solar light that could easily flat pack and also pop open into a beautiful form, which is easy, lightweight, and affordable. Behind me are not actually pieces of art, but they're my thoughts and sketches that are done in 3D as prototyping for my inventions. It's not about making possible realities. It's about making real possibilities. In addition to my work, you have a rudimentary drawing done by my son when he was 10. We have a photograph that was given to me by the mayor of San Juan after we delivered 100,000 lights to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. And we have some little animals that I got from Nigeria when I first visited Makoko in Lagos, Nigeria, delivering my first prototypes of solar lights back in 2010. We've impacted communities in Haiti, Ukraine, Turkey, and all this has confirmed my conviction that light is a universal need. Now that I've shown you where I work and live, I'll show you where I sleep. This is where I sleep, so I just wanted to keep it simple, clean, and elegant. I never like throwing things out, and these are a prototype for an earlier project that never panned out, but they're perfect sculptural pieces to divide one space from another. Not only do I have these lights in here because I love them, it's actually here because this is a living laboratory. And I just learn so much by seeing how they work. Design is my life and designing accessible lighting has become my calling. And both are vital, whether you're living in Port-au-Prince or New York City. Thank you for visiting my humble abode. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we explore the restoration of this historic home. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in the Crestwood Hills section of Los Angeles with antique collector and curator Adam Blackman. Adam is the co-founder of the Blackman Cruise Showroom. He also recently co-authored a design book, Beauty and Mischief. Now he shows us around the restoration of his own 1949 home, a historical cultural monument itself, which he filled with some of his favorite finds. Take a look. Hi, my name is Adam Blackman, and we're gonna give you a little tour of our house here in Crestwood Hills. We've been in this house, my wife and I, for 25 years, and we're gonna take you from room to room and show you unusual, beautiful things. One of my latest finds is the car I'm sitting on, this Ford OSI 1967. There's only three in this country, and I'm sitting on one of them. So let's head on in. So the style of the house, it's an international style. A. Quincy Jones and Whitney R. Smith 
did this whole area between 1946 and 1950. And what's so important about this, declaring it a historic cultural monument, it's securing it that it can't be torn down. And I think we did a pretty good job restoring it. My wife and I did this because we wanted a calming element as you're walking into the house. So you can walk into the house this way or walk through the front door that we're gonna do right now. So this dining set is called the Gazelle Line by this designer, Dan Johnson. It's all bronze and marble, and it's called a Gazelle Line because each chair and the table has a bronze gazelle with the feet, with the head, you see the horn here, and the table has the exact same thing. And this piece right next to us, this chandelier, called the Miracle Chandelier. I love these crystal rays of light coming off of this thing. What's lovely about having a meal at this dining table is that you always kind of feel like you're outside, especially when you're looking out and you see the Japanese maple and the air, the breezes go from one side of the house through the other. When we're not dining, we spend a lot of time in the sitting room over here. So now that we're in the sitting room. This is our record table. What I did was I went to different thrift stores around Los Angeles and I bought like 400 records. We bolted together and actually had that cast. And one of my favorite pieces really is this the Papa Bear chair. What's nice is the original leather and I've had this thing for like 25 years and talk about wanting to sit and read a book in this chair. It is the most comfortable. The sofas might come and go but this and these guys we're going to be holding on to for a while. Being a house that was built in 1949 and in the 40s and 50s, you'll first notice the cinder block fireplace. You know, they use very, very basic materials, not just the cinder block, but Douglas fir and the cedar. That's very typical of this area of Crestwood Hills. So in this room, we're surrounded by a lot of earth tones. The concrete and the cinder block, everything lends itself. And of course, we have a very striking blue painting on the fireplace, which really kind of stands out. Just like the coffee table, which is a mad coffee table. It's just kind of amazing to look at after all these years. A lot of the things, as you can see, that are surrounding us, these are never sell items and actually great conversation starters. Well, that wraps up the tour. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And we'll see you at the next property. Coming up, we are inside this bright and beautiful West Village penthouse. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we visit this bright and airy penthouse duplex in the West Village. Nestled on a cobblestone street steps from the Hudson River, this home combines loft-like proportions with warmly defined spaces perfect for entertaining inside or out. See for yourself. Hi, I'm Dana Power and welcome to this beautiful penthouse in the heart of the West Village. Located on cobblestoned West 12th Street, just steps from the Hudson River, this penthouse is the largest residence in the building offering four bedrooms, four baths, and three exclusive terraces. And I can't wait to show you around, so follow me. Enter the residence via private elevator access into the main entertaining area, which is truly captivating. This double height solarium over the living and dining room sets the stage for the most enchanting ambiance framing the river views. These double height floor to ceiling windows flood the room with beautiful light. And at night you can admire the cascading chandelier amongst the stars. Or cozy up next to the fireplace and warm your toes. Just off the solarium, there's a media room that's flanked by two terraces. The South Terrace, which I like to call the Sunset Terrace, is perfect for pre-dinner cocktails. And just on the other side, you have the North Terrace connected to the kitchen, which is perfect for grilling and entertaining. When you have such a large open space, privacy can be challenging. So one of the coolest things about the apartment is this swinging wall that closes off to separate the den from the kitchen and the living space to create a cozy media room where you can watch a movie undisturbed. You can open both terrace doors, kick back and relax and enjoy the breeze. The 
elegant primary suite is its own sanctuary where you can step out onto the terrace for a breath of fresh air or sneak up to the rooftop in the middle of the night through the staircase hidden behind the wall. And there's a giant walkthrough closet that leads you in to the ensuite spa-like bath. And inside this spacious bath, double vanities, double rain shower, infrared sauna, and my favorite part is this soaking tub. And the bomb move is, with the touch of a button, you can unfrost the glass window and look out at the boats on the river while you're in the tub. Or you can keep it frosted for some privacy. And the best part, this incredibly special rooftop oasis with a 50-foot infinity edge lap pool jacuzzi, outdoor shower, grilling stations, and a beautifully landscaped deck, perfect for outdoor workouts or just lounging, all against the backdrop of these amazing river views. I hope you enjoyed taking a tour of this indoor-outdoor West Village dream home with me today. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna run upstairs and take a dip. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know which of these gorgeous homes featured in this episode was your favorite. So many to choose from, which will you pick? <laughs>